Hi friends, Ari here with Authentically Ari. I wanted to jump on here as usual and share something extremely important that I am super passionate about. As always, I'm here as a mother and a friend to help share digestible info that I have learned from all of my years of nutrition and spirituality um, and healing myself. So today's topic is the MTHFR gene. So why does that matter? It is a huge deal if you suffer from anxiety, from brain fog, from sleep issues, from digestion issues, you might have this gene. So it turns out 44% of people have this genetic mutation. And I found out about this um, in 2018 when I did some labs, when I found out I had SIBO, my doctor was able to do my genetics and I found out I have one snip of this genetic mutation. So that means I have um, one parent who gave me this mutation, MT MTHFR, and you can be homozygous where both parents give you this mutation or heterozygous where one parent and I am heterozygous. Anyways, fast forward. So MTHFR, long story short, means your body cannot process the synthetic folic acid into the usual, usable version methylfolate. So what does that mean? If you have this genetic mutation and you are eating folic acid, this is building up in your body. Your body is not able to methylate properly, which causes all sorts of issues. So if you have, like I said, um, anxiety, sleep issues, if your children have behavioral issues, this is a huge deal. And now I'm sure you're probably wondering, well, how do I know if I have it? You can do some labs to get checked for this. Of course, that costs money and time. And I understand a lot of us don't have that. So what I would like you to do is for three days, assume you have this. So 60% of the population does not have this, but 40% of us do. This is a huge deal because our food has been sprayed with the synthetic form of folate, folic acid, man-made in a lab um, since World War II around that time. And a lot of us can't process that. So any processed food that you're buying, whether that's bread, pasta, rice, um, anything you're buying for your kids, that most likely, if you look at the nutrition facts, has folic acid in it. And I'm gonna give you an example right here. So the top has an organic snack. I give my son a organic cracker. And then the bottom has a non-organic animal cracker. And you can see that it has the synthetic form of folic acid added to the ingredients. So this affects everyone <laughs> but it has really come up in my life recently with friends and family regarding our kids um, if your kids are having behavioral issues assume they have this genetic mutation and take it out of their diet for at least three days and see how they improve test yourself as well see how you improve i have grown up with anxiety my entire life and I don't know why, um, but now I do know. This is a huge deal. Our body cannot methylate properly. And if you're pregnant or if you're planning on getting pregnant, make sure in your prenatal supplement that it has the methylated version of folate in there. Not folic acid, but folate. I, you know, I can do a video later on why I'm so passionate about this, but Long story short, I have a grandfather on my dad's side who suffered from schizophrenia. And I didn't know him well, I only had met him once before he passed away, but I've grown up knowing that it is a genetic thing in my family. And I think I've there's been some fear <laughs> involved in it. And my parents didn't tell us about it for a long time because they didn't want us to worry about it i you know i think it really manifests between um, in your early 20s so this has to do with this genetic mutation 
and you can either help yourself or you cannot. You know, your, your genes load the gun, but your lifestyle, your diet, pull the trigger. And I say this in all of my videos, like you have the choice. You decide, do you want to help yourself or do you want to hurt yourself? And knowing that these things are preventable is a huge deal. Like I said in my other videos with insulin resistance and diabetes, you know, you could be dealt a pretty crappy genetic hand, but if you are eating right, exercising, working on your nervous system, taking care of yourself and your family, you don't have anything to worry about. And that is my biggest takeaway that I want you to go home with. The biggest takeaways are what I just said, but also go in your pantry, look at what you're feeding your kids. Is there folic acid in the ingredients? Control the things you can control. Of course, when they go to school and they have pizza Mondays, most likely the crust that the pizza place is using is gonna be enriched. Choose your battles. You know, you can control what's at home. They're of course gonna have folic acid in, on certain occasions and that's okay. And then number two is with this genetic variation, it is also good to supplement with B12 and the proper form of folate, methyl folate. Um, and so I um, supplement myself and then I also give my son um, gummy vitamins with the proper version of folate in there. You know, help your, help your body out. Know what isn't working and give it what it needs. But yeah, I mean, I think those are the two biggest takeaways for me. Let me know in the comments if this has helped you, if you've noticed anything. And like I said, assume you have this variation, this genetic variation for three days and just see what happens. Test it out. I really hope this helps. You got this. Let me know.